Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, whoa. Welcome to episode 51. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here on the coast of North Carolina. We're in the mid to upper 70s all week. Well, gorgeous minus the fact that it's been raining down pollen on us. I don't know if you see the pollen all over my truck, but the birds are chirping, the dogwoods are blooming, the azaleas are blooming, and it is absolutely beautiful weather. But anyway, let's get into the episode. In this episode, Amy went to an estate sale on Saturday. It was pouring rain all day Saturday, but she still had a good time. She found a lot of amazing stuff. Let's get into it and show you what we got. All right, I'm headed to a estate sale, an estate sale this morning in Carolina Beach. As you can see, it is a rainy morning. <clears throat> I'm going to be there about 30 minutes early, so I might I have an umbrella. I might be standing in the rain. But the prices, you can see the prices in some of the pictures. They looked really good. There was a ton of really good stuff, so I think it'll be worth it. did bring a box. I already see cement planters I want. Underneath everything, not yeah. really worried about yes. what it looks like. Exactly. It just has it's like concrete floors, concrete walls, you know, just trying to. Yeah. It's car hurt overall. And it makes me sick. There were two rugs that I walked right by that I didn't see. Someone that picked I would have snapped up. Yes. Hey, when that happened. Look at this thing. There are some ceramic planters out here. Do we yes. know uh, what? They're ten dollars. If they're terracotta, they're ten dollar each. Okay. Can I? Can I get the frog? Um. Let me. Okay. I'm trying to get the pedestals. Probably like a concrete stuff. Okay. I and the see. frog. Go ahead and I'm just gonna get it. Okay. The pedestals are doing well with us. Oh, I'm okay. yeah. I need stuff for my shop, like the outside. Look, gotcha. What do you think that is? A cot? That? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Damn, I put some of that in the pictures. It was really hidden. <laughs> okay, so I'd like the pedestals and the frog and the three, like, Cement planters. 
Alright, so I can give you, if you want to go ahead and pay for them. Out the way. Are they, are they ten each? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be priced off there. Yeah, you're in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> I forget that. They just made me in charge. So, you want what? Okay, now these are going to be 15. They're 15, yeah. okay. The terracotta pots are 10. And the sand? is 15. Sands are 15, okay. Mm -hmm. And the frog? 15. Oh. Is he missing an arm, or is that? Don't know. Okay. Fair enough. Don't know. Okay, I'm going to get the two pedestals. All right. And I hate to tell you, but you're going to have to kind of pull them out and figure out where okay. to. And what did I tell you? 15? Can you do 10 on that one? Sir? Yeah, I'll do 10 on that one. Okay, so 15 and 10. Mark. Just so I don't forget. Oh, no, she didn't. And let me get the bucket. It's upstairs. She paid $130. Did, did they not mark it? They didn't mark it. I'm not going back up here with this. Somebody went up here and tell her the guy with the two rocks. Right. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. James, the column. <laughs> Go over there and see that man right there. Hey, he's Sorry about that. That's what. Okay, right. the bucket. Uh, the bucket behind it, and the two pedestals. Go. I'm gonna get. Pretty good. Pretty good. So you any umbrellas? Um, I think I thought that actually. <laughs> You want to pull things out one more time? James, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, he has. Oh, okay. Go with her. Okay. Yes, the rugs have been a little bit harder to mark. Someone's basket. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was just gonna I throw some it. stuff in there. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, she's so nice. Yeah, I got one here. Do you know that? It says $45. And then I wrote That's why I sat down. I had it a long time. I did too. <laughs> and then I revisited it. I know something that you don't know. It's like for 45, <laughs> yeah. sitting there. Right. Thank you. Are you no, I'm just been, I'm trying to put this stuff down, but. 18. Oh, those, those things are kind of fun. Like there is. It's the Puma of the Green and Garage. It's just still Look big and it's a little tin. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. She's so well. She's like a sniper, you know. I haven't missed it. This might be. It's something in the garage. I don't know. So just right at the bottom here. If you want me to, I can hold the first time to get back. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Thank you. I've got to get the bottom. Oh, you got it. Yeah.
I thought these were like wood carvings with yeah. candles. That's funny. They're not wooden? No, they're candles. Oh. Isn't that weird? I know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're not burned. Do you mind if I unravel this? Yeah, this is yeah. all done. So are those pots out there not for sale? They are for sale. There was just a bad place on the balcony and it was raining this morning. Uh, so they do have prices on them. Yeah, if you go around, go under the tape and please stay on this side of the house. You can see where the deck is running. Yeah. It's just super dangerous. And Yeah, I'm not trying to fall through. Yeah, and we don't want you to. Is that owl? Is that owl? Yeah, and they haven't been priced because it was rain. Nothing would stick to okay. prices, but the owl is seven. Okay, I want to get that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mark you for the owl, and if they zip zip, don't be offended. I'll just tell them. This okay. Is all done. I wanna, do you want to get rid of that stuff off? Sure. Whatever you want to do. Okay. If you hand me any kind of bag. It's on. I know. Thank you. If you don't have I a ton know. of bags, Thank I'm sorry. I thought. Yeah, yeah I, I was afraid it would get knocked. I know. Knocked. And I didn't. I'm sorry. No, no. I just thought I'm gonna move it back there because I don't want it. To Thank be. you. Oh, let me see that. Look at that. There we go. You, need that. you don't want these hangers. So you want me to hold no. It? We don't ever want to see those hangers again. Okay. I don't really want to see them either, but. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. He's a good one. He is a good one. Okay. Oh, you got the cute help. Mm -hmm. What's your channel? It's called Coastal Resale Therapy. Mm -hmm. It's me and my husband. I will go find you. Yes. I, sh I wonder if yes. I have some cards. No, I don't think I do. I'll find you and share you on our Oh, please do. That would be awesome. All right, this is the stuff from the haul from the estate sale Amy went to. We're finally getting around to recording this. It's probably around 9 o'clock on Tuesday night. We're having to do this after our kids went to bed. But uh, we already sold some of the stuff, so we need to get some stuff shipped out tomorrow. So let's get into it and uh, show you what we got in our haul. We spent a total of $210 at this estate sale. Is that including the pots you got me? No. No. All right. All right, so I spent $210. And apparently these people were collectors and they had an antique shop these things are so hard like there's so much happening so i grabbed some things that were duds some things that were broken but that's okay that happens all right so we'll start right here this is a vintage campbell's beanie there were so many clothes mm -mm, good slogan so many clothes from uh, the research I've already done on this, I put this up already. This was from 1976. Mm -mm, good. And I'm really trying to hit the jackpot with finding like vintage trucker hats because they're out there that are super desirable. But these two vintage power tools hats, they're in really good shape. I was surprised being white hats. When I looked them over, there was not really any stains or anything. Those are also from the 70s. Okay. okay. We listed those for $24.99 and the uh, beanie for $19.99. I didn't do a lot of research. Shane has. You know more about what these things actually are worth than I do. All right. Then I got this table runner brand new from Williams Sonoma. It was $7 I spent on this. It's really nice. Williams Sonoma is a really high-end brand. So $7. I bet retail this was probably $70 or $75. 
We listed that for $45.99. Okay. This little lady down here, so she was a dollar. Anything with this spaghetti, this like, I don't even know how to describe it, this glass kind of pokey stuff. And it's Napco, you can tell by the sticker. But she was just this one lone girl and she was a dollar. I buy these, anytime I see these little figurines, like little girls, I mean, some of these are crazy expensive. This one is missing its partner. It's supposed to be kissing a partner. So this really isn't worth much. But if you see these, there's like a Valentine set. There's a Christmas set. Just two of these tiny little things. These are like an inch tall. They could be $50, $60, $70. Some of these figurines we've even sold for over $100. Some of these go for crazy high prices. So I took a chance on that one. I don't know where we'll end up selling that, but this was just an interesting carved wood piece. They had a lot of like primitive kind of farmhouse handmade stuff. This guy also clearly was some woodworker. Maybe he even made it. I don't know, but it's just kind of funky. That's going to go in our booth. This is a vintage planter. What maker do you think this is? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to guess... Holder. That's what I was yep. going to guess. So this is probably 50s or 60s. That'll go in our... Oh, good. I'm probably going to break that. It was only worth $7 we looked it up. The set was worth 14 So. Oh, wouldn't this be, little girl. Yeah. Wouldn't be the end of the world. This is probably a $10 or $15 thing. This, I picked it up and I was like, wow, this is a nice piece of pottery. It just looked quality. And then, and I spent six twenty five, dollars but then I brought it home and there is a big repaired... Um, crack chip in it so this is going to go in the booth I don't know, this was one of those things where i don't i don't know why i grabbed it i just did and then it was broken you don't have time to look stuff over really though like you're hustling i could have but like lighting's never good in these things either so it's just hard to see all right then up front we've got these copper Pans. These do super well. Their pricing was a little strange. So this is a set of four. They had $2.75 on these. The only marking they have is like a, I think there's a Japan mark or something like that up here. Um, I don't think I include that in the listing if it says Japan on it. Yeah, it's marked Japan right there. So I don't know what these are used for. We're calling them saucepans. Shane listed them for war. $49.99. Okay, so $50. There's already watchers on them. So $10 a piece for those, $10, $12 a piece for those. And I only paid $250. This big pan was the biggest one they had. And I, I think I got it on camera. They had a bunch of other copper pans. This one was the biggest. Then there were other sizes, but like this one was the cheapest. So this one is $15. I put the other ones back. They wanted, I think, like $20 and $30 for the other ones and could, because they were Revere wear. Which maybe they were worth it. I'm sure we would have made money, but... Probably. This stuff sells pretty good. But maybe, like, it would have sold for 60 Like, the $30 one would have been 60 bucks. Right. Well, this one I spent 15 and we just... This is the first thing we sold, and we sold this for 100 So the profit margin was much better, even though it wasn't marked. And, like, why were those 250 I don't know. We had it listed for $109. Uh, we listed it Sunday. It sold today. Somebody made an offer of 100 and we accepted so that has to go out tomorrow. Yep, so that's our first sale. So copper with these brass handles, definitely keep your eye out for those, especially if they have like France and a specific maker on them. Yeah, if you watched uh, the last couple of videos of solds I did, there was a fair amount of the copper and aluminum brass cookware, all of it sold already. Some of those were marked France. But if you think about that too, that you said that was a hundred bucks right there. You spent two ten, you got almost half your money back from the first thing you sold. We haven't even got it all listed yet. Right. Because I was a little like, ooh, two hundred and ten. Did I was did I get enough stuff for two hundred and ten dollars? But yeah. Yeah, we put it on the table and she thought that and then she remembered she bought a bunch of clothes too that are hanging up that we're gonna show you after we finish this stuff on the table. Yep. So there's more than just what's on the table here. Right, there was so much pottery and so much ceramic stuff, but these animals caught my eye. These people clearly collected this one type of pottery, Pigeon Forge pottery, which 
I guess is made in Pigeon Forge in Tennessee. Um, these were so cute. So this one was $5, this one was $3, and this one was $5 maybe. Owls are hot, mushrooms are hot, 70s stuff is hot, but yeah, so owl just, I just grabbed it on that alone. And like art pottery can be really good. So this cute guy, and then this was another, oops, I bought a broken piece, his tail is repaired. Um, so he's also Pigeon Forge pottery. And then there's a specific uh, potter, DF, which I found out in my research is Ferguson, D. Ferguson. I don't know what the first name is. But evidently, he's one of the more collected potters of Pigeon Forge pottery. So we've got a little mouse. He's really cute. He's also signed DF. This guy was broken and this owl. So if this guy was not broken, he was selling for around 40 But I just put these, and this guy was like 20 25 So I put these together and just put them in a lot for 40 hoping they'll sell better that way. And the owl we listed for thirty two ninety nine. He's so cute. Okay, and then these were each fifty cents. So like the pricing, I don't because then some of the things were like twenty five or thirty dollars. But these were fifty it, cents. Maybe it was a situation they had just so much stuff and some of the stuff you're like, you know what, just put Or like <laughs> different people were pricing stuff, maybe. Yeah. So these are two little candle holders. I saw a set of these sold. They were advertising them. I thought they were candle holders. These people had a set listing them as bud bases. So you put like a little flower in it, which may, that actually might be true. I don't know. Anyways. It looks like it could be either one. Honestly. We listed those for $30. There's two different potters on them. But art pottery, you get it for cheap enough. We've surprised ourselves and sold pieces for a lot of money that we didn't know what specific artists they were attributed to. But there's collectors for pottery out there. This guy was a dollar. And also another thing that was broken. Like, that's what, three things already? Okay. House of Hatton. And I just looked it up briefly. I don't even know why it was a dollar. Like, why didn't I just not look it up? But I did. And there are pieces that are like $40, $50, $60 by House of Hatton. I, I guess we're still going to list it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet with the, because the feet are broken. We're going to have to repair it because... Or maybe not. It's no, it's not thing. like fully disconnected. It's just got some cracks. Because this material cracks over time. Right. So you just put the uh, fact that it was cracked in the description. Yeah. See what happens. All right. This I also grabbed. It's, it was $10. And it is a woven like wool area rug. And we'll probably sell those locally. And we've sold... Big ones, medium sized ones, like a big one would be like two hundred dollars. So this is probably like sixty to sixty bucks. I'm thinking. This kind of like bohemian design is also really in and popular right now. Okay, so here's another like art pottery thing, but it's got owls and it's pottery and it was three dollars. So what are you thinking, booth or what? Are... Yeah, I was thinking booth. It's just kind of cool. Maybe like $25. Um, embroidered pillows. We sold one, you know, not, not in design, but like not similar in design, but it had a mushroom on it and that went for $100. What? How much do you remember? I can't remember exactly, but it went fast and it might have been because of the mushroom, but... It's definitely because of the mushroom. But I always keep my eye out for these embroidered pillows. Like this one has more of a vintage vibe. Those are both going to go in our shop. Then in the bathroom, you'll see in the footage, there's this really crazy carpeted bathroom with this giant tub. But there were some perfumes, which if you've seen our videos, I always buy. These are not really worth anything. So those would probably just be donated. This was a set of brand new... Like Tova miniature perfumes. I spent two dollars on this. You listed it for $39.99. Okay, so 40 bucks. This was also just pretty. It was a dollar. Why did I grab it? Just for those reasons. It was kind of cute. I don't know that it has any value. We haven't looked that one up yet. But sometimes these vintage makeup stuff is 
ridiculously Maybe expensive because they're discontinued or like it reminds someone of their grandmother or something like that. All right. These are miniature fishing baskets, like ornaments. Again, I just thought they were cute. So I don't know. We'll probably just. We looked one up. It wasn't that valuable. If you put all three together, maybe you can get 10 or 15 bucks for it, maybe. Yeah. I think these are handmade, these ones at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe a day's a... grace. The one in the back was Department 56. Yeah. There was a vintage or antique actual fishing basket that I really wanted to buy, but it was $45. We've sold one before for like 100 Um It had the fishing license of the guy from the 1930s in it and some lures, some flies, handmade flies. So. Yeah, the prices are just a little high. Yeah. Okay, then we have this wooden carved... Gnome? Gnome? Santa? No. We're going to go with gnome. No, yeah. And, I don't know, 20 bucks. This, I just thought was really neat. And I had seen it in pictures prior to the sale. And I thought I had looked it up and seen one for sale for like $189. I bought this for 25 which was the one most expensive thing I bought, actually. But it's this blue slag glass, and it is a battleship and this is uncle sam on the top there are no chips or cracks but actually it's not as valuable as i thought and i couldn't find who what glass maker it's attributed to if you know who it is let me know but really probably around 50 dollars. yeah that's what it sold for around 50 so i mean you're doubling your money still but usually amy goes shoots a lot higher than that <laughs> If it's costing me $25, I want to make at least. A hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to account for fees, storage time, listing time, all of that. And it just makes it not worth it. Yeah, I mean, you never know. You might have to keep this for a year before somebody buys it. Right. Okay. Vintage eyeglasses. They were, they were like a dollar. And I just saw they were attributed to someone. There's Cosmo Rigoletto is the eyeglass maker so i just bought them made in italy, made in italy. yeah uh listed those for 47.99 there were sold that high yep in that 40 to 50 ring hmm. okay glass sun catcher which they did have a bunch of blanco but someone like the first person in line bought it off so i was wondering if this is blanco but i could not find it like definitively attributed to blanco so but we sold a lot of those you see there's the a fairy. fairy yeah there's a fairy so it's like 25 bucks, probably. These, actually, what I found out was these are like two plates that go to like a children's tea set. Like a lithograph children's tea set. Um, but they're actually like in really bad shape. But I just think they were cute. So I just bought them. The motion light keeps going off in our garage if you're wondering what that is. I'm just trying to move around a little bit and make it come back on. Okay. Crabtree and Evelyn. These were each like a dollar or two. In our one of our first videos, I had bought a ton of beauty products, unopened beauty products, and there was a bunch of vintage Crabtree and Evelyn soaps. A set of like six soaps was $200. It was crazy. It was crazy money. So I saw these. They were vintage. I bought them. And they're not $200, but they're more than I think you would expect. These are all from the from 1994, and they're all votive candles. There are solds of like 30, 40, 50. I think you listed the candles for $25.99. These ones. The Christmas. And what about the Christmas ones? Christmas ones, $44.99. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a decent return for candles for a dollar. And then this back here is an Annalee, two dollars. You can always recognize. Yeah. The faces. This is these the Annalee dolls are one of those things where like the market is super saturated, like Department Fifty Six. But if you find the right ones, and they are out there, they can be worth a lot. But this is probably not one of them. It's probably a twenty. I'm guessing twenty dollars. And they're not going to fly off your shelf either. You might have them for a while. But again, if you get the right one. And the right price. If you pay like 50 cents or a dollar. 
yeah. All right, this cement owl. We also, I know it was a mushroom, but we sold a little cement mushroom for $110. Yep. So I paid seven for this guy. And people collect, you know, it's worn. It doesn't have eyeballs. Like people there's don't some, care, though. That's what people want. Like, it's weathered. And a similar sold for... Around 100 again. Around I think 100. I listed it for 94 if I'm not mistaken. 94 99 is where we started off at. Yeah, so similar figurines. It's an owl. Anywhere from the 50 to $200 range. This one we're going in the... I'm pretty sure I saw watchers on it already, also. Yeah, so... Shipping is interesting, but and it's super heavy. It's like 12 or 13 pounds. But Shane, I trust Shane to, to get that taken care of. Oh, yeah. I'll use a whole roll of tape on a box if I have to. Like, why did I buy this? I have no idea. It's like a carved wooden boot. I don't know whether you... It's like a boot mold. Like, maybe you put your boots in it after they get wet. I have no idea. I have no idea what this thing is. I think the guy made stuff. But, like, why did I buy that? I have no idea. I blacked out. <laughs> I blacked out and I bought You were in the zone. Yeah, like, what would you do with it? If anybody knows, let us know, because we clearly have no idea what that's for. Okay, this guy was one of the first things that I was looking for. I saw him in the pictures. And he had a tag on him. It was the first thing I went to. He had a tag on him that said $45. And so I left it there and I walked away and I'm like, dang, I want that, but not for $45. So I went shopping probably for like 30 more minutes and I came and I was like, let me look more over the Christmas stuff. And I'm like, let me just look at him. And I picked him up and underneath here, I took it off, but was a sticker that said $4 because it was $45 in their antique shop, but it was only $4 at the at the sale and so many people I think did what I did and just saw that $45 in fact someone I was carrying it around and someone said to me do you know something about that that I don't because I they haven't marked $45 and I said I know that it's actually $4 <laughs> <laughs> um you listed that like 78 ish right yeah so these are they're sold of like 50 to 100 dollars for these different these are called putts if they're made out of cardboard they, usually they're putts houses. They're like little villages that are made out of that. So I've never seen an, a uh, fireplace one. So yeah, I think we listed at 75 And then this set down here, I think I paid 5 or $6, $7 for this set. It's like a satiny material. It is so cute. If I had to guess, we're going to sell that for like $40 for the two pieces. They're quite large. They're pretty big. And then, I, again, I, I paid $8 for each set of three. I, I don't know why. I just thought they were so cute. They're like um, paper mache painted faces on here. And I did look them up. There's actually a maker on them. And a single one, it was an angel, so it was this, but it had wings, but sold for $20. So I put each set of three for 30 so hopefully we'll get some bites on that. So that's everything that's not closed. All right, we're gonna clear everything, uh, spot on the table off and get into the clothes. Okay, there were closets of vintage clothes and then in the garage there were racks of like work, coveralls, jackets, boots. But the, on the first day, everything was priced a little bit high, um, but I did get some things I bought Two wool jackets. This vintage Chill Chaser blue top. I don't really know what these are worth, but they're all good sizes. Like, they're all larges. And then, so I'm, if I had to guess, like, I don't know, 40, 50? We'll, we'll have to put up comps, yeah, but. Yeah, I'll look them up and put the comps up. Okay, so these are good. These Woolrich vintage jackets. So I paid $5. We've sold several of these before. Some, like, patterns and jackets are worth more than others but the one thing I did notice about this jacket was the button's not missing but it needs to be reattached so I'm sure that's not a big deal but this is also a size large 
Okay, then like 80s and 90s patterns are in for men. So anything that kind of had a funky pattern, I bought it or like funky clothes. This is a Chaps Ralph Lauren top. Okay, most of these I paid two, three dollars for. So there's that one. This Tommy Hilfiger uh, button down has a Tommy Hilfiger. Anything that has like big lettering or if it was said like Tommy across the back, you definitely want to buy those things. We could put up some comps of like the highest sold. That would be interesting to see like what the highest Tommy stuff goes for. Woolrich, this is just like a funky pattern. This reminds me of goats. So Woolrich. This is another Woolrich. This one's a nice one. You can feel like feel the material. It definitely was like late 80s, early 90s. Would you rock this? In the 80s and 90s, probably. $3, 100% cotton. This one, like look how cool this one is. And it's a corduroy material. Chaps, Ralph Lauren. Cool. So again, not really too sure what price um, a Ralph Lauren vintage sweater, paid $4. This was funky. Bimini Bay, Hawaiian shirt, another Hawaiian shirt. Vintage Nautica, very 80s, 90s. Then this is a vintage Orvis sweater, size large. 100% cotton. I think this I think this is going to be a good one. And ooh, we're going to need to wash that. I think it's just been in the closet a really long time. Let me get that out. But like look at this one, Ralph Lauren, look at the sleeve. That's what I think this one is going to make this one special. And it's like American flaggy colors. Let's Someone's going to want this. Someone's going to want to stand out <laughs> with this. So, yeah. So, I think we're going to do well in the clothes. If I were to guess, anywhere from $20 to $50 a piece. Yeah, so when you add the clothes in with everything else you got, you got a lot for $210. Yeah, I also realized I just bought a bunch of junk and panicked would have left some things behind had i really thought it through but what can you do that's part of it i mean i had so much fun too it was just it was a fun sale and you're gonna end up making money so even if you lose a little bit on a few a few things it doesn't matter yeah i just definitely could have left some things behind and some things will end up being donated, donated or thrown away yeah which is okay comes with the territory and that's the haul video Okay, this wasn't part of the haul video. This is some stuff that uh, I got Amy to get for me because I love springtime. I have a lot of plants. Uh, I got some stuff I need to get repotted, so I needed some big pots. So I told her to be on the lookout. They, She said they had a lot of planters there at this place, but these two large planters she snagged for me for $10 a piece. If anybody buys planters, you know how expensive they are if you buy them new. So that's just a tip. Uh, be on the lookout of these sales for what kind of pots and planters they have. But um, I can't wait to get out of there. We're full on spring here in the south. The pollen is insane. If I showed you my cars and driveway, it is just a layer of pollen dust. But all of our dogwoods are blooming. The azaleas are blooming. It's in the mid to upper 70s here. It's great. I can't wait to get outside and uh, repot some stuff. But I just want to put these in the video and show you guys the planters. As always, visit our store at CoastalResellTherapy.com. The link will be posted in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.